welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. You are in store today for a fantastic video with two, yes two, WW air fryer recipes. Both of these meals were so incredibly delicious. Husband approved, that is always a good thing. Great for a family, great as leftovers, just great meals in general and both extremely point friendly and of course delicious. So if you wanna see what two recipes I have in store for you on this episode of my WW Air Fryer series, just keep watching. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are going to make easy chicken quesadillas. This is literally as easy as quesadillas can get, so this is a fantastic busy weeknight or weekend meal. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So for our chicken, we are gonna be using this Foster Farms fajita raw chicken breast strip. So be aware that this is raw not cooked, but the chicken is already seasoned. It has no added hormones or steroids. It's 100% natural. So you do need to make sure that you just cook it up here in about 10 minutes in a skillet. And this is zero points for this seasoned chicken. And again, this is the Foster Farms saute ready. So that's our chicken for tonight. I'm gonna be using the Trader Joe's light shredded Mexican blend. You can have a quarter cup of this for only two smart points versus some other light cheeses are three to four smart points for a quarter of a cup. Light sour cream. I'm gonna be using the Good Foods Avocado Salsa from Costco. This salsa is so good, so, so good. For ease, I'm gonna be using the Melange A Trois red, yellow, and green pepper strips frozen in the freezer section at Trader Joe's, easy. So the only thing I'm gonna have to chop up is my little onion here and I have chicken fajitas. And then I'm gonna make mine on a Tomorrow's Premium White Wrap. These are one smart point a piece and I'll be using two wraps for my quesadilla. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do to get started on our quesadillas is we are gonna go ahead and cook our fajita chicken strips. So I have some nonstick cooking spray here in the pan. I went ahead and added in my chicken. I'm just gonna let this cook almost all the way through and then we'll add some sliced onion and some of our frozen peppers. Once your chicken's cooked about halfway through, we're gonna go ahead, whoa, we're steamy, and we're gonna add in my sliced onions that I went ahead and diced up. And then we're also going to add in some of our pepper mixture here. And we're gonna give that a chance to kind of cool, cook down a little bit, get those peppers and onions nice and sauteed in with the chicken. So we're ready to put together our quesadilla. Our chicken mixture looks delicious. Again, I'm gonna be using the Tomorrow's Wraps in the premium white. I'm gonna be doing two wraps, one as the base and then one as the top of my quesadilla. So I have one here as the base to that Yes, I cut myself with a knife, cutting the onions, to this quesadilla shell here. I'm gonna add a good amount of my chicken and vegetable mixture. This mixture is zero points. So there's no points in that chicken. And then of course there's no points in the veggies. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a good amount because this is the main proponent of our quesadilla uh, other than a little bit of cheese. So yeah. All right, a little more. All righty, so I have my chicken and pepper mixture. I went ahead and weighed out one ounce or 28 grams of the light cheese on my food scale. And it's funny because when you weigh things out, it doesn't look as much as in your mind. You think you should be putting on something. So that's why it's so important to weigh out your food. So there is my cheese. And then I'm simply going to put the top of my quesadilla shell on, and I'm gonna grab my tray to my air fryer, and we'll get this put into the air fryer. So here is my quesadilla, it looks delicious. Here's my husband's, he has a big flour tortilla with a lot more cheese and toppings than me. But what I'm going to do is just spray the top of our shells with a little bit of the nonstick cooking spray. That way it gets a little bit brown in the air fryer's fryer. So let's get these into the air fryer. 
So our quesadillas are in the air fryer. Now, if you have the basket style, you can always cut your quesadilla prior to putting it into the basket if it doesn't fit in the actual basket part of your air fryer. So our, air, our quesadillas are in. Let's go ahead and set this at 375. And we're gonna do only about 10 minutes. I'll turn the light on here. And that way I can rotate the shelves too. Put focus, focus. Okay, I can rotate the shelves as well and put mine on top and my husband's on the bottom. But yeah, air fryer's going, quesadillas are in. I just pulled our quesadillas out of the air fryer. My hubby's got a little more crispy than mine. I think it's the consistency of this flour tortilla. But here is my quesadilla, it looks amazing. So I'm gonna put this on a plate, cut it up, add my toppings, and I'll be back to show you my completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my quesadilla, you guys. This looks so good. It smells amazing in my house. So what I did is I topped my quesadilla with a serving of the avocado salsa from Good Foods. And then in the middle, I put one serving of the light sour cream. So my entire quesadilla is a total of seven smart points. That is three for the tortillas, two of them. Two for the cheese makes five, one for the sour cream makes six, and one for the avocado salsa makes seven. So my seven smart point air fryer quesadilla, and you guys, this is comfort delicious food for seven smart points. For tonight's air fryer dinner, I'm going to be making Parmesan chicken cutlets and homemade zucchini fries. So I'm really excited, this sounds amazing, the points are great. For the dinner, we are not adding an additional starch, but those zucchini fries, you guys, it is like having fries. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So for the chicken, you're going to need some flour, panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and ground mustard. Also some chicken, I just have two thin sliced chicken breasts here. Some Parmesan cheese. I have the skinniest dish, crock pot marinara. It is zero smart points. I will link this recipe down in the description box. Best marinara there is and zero points. And then an egg. For the zucchini, you're going to need zucchini that I just went ahead and cut in to slices or fry shapes. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper and some of my Z Dax green zest. This is my favorite seasoning from Dax. If you're not familiar with Dax, all of their seasonings have zero salt, so they are fantastic before weigh-in or if you're someone that watches your salt intake. All natural, no MSG, full of amazing, amazing flavor. Like, the flavor is so good on these. This particular one, like I said, is my favorite. This one has spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic, and lemon peel. That's it. So as natural as it can get and as flavorful as it can get. If you wanna pick up some Dax, they have over 20 spices. Use my code here on the screen. It'll give you 10% off and free shipping. So simply click the link down in the description box, check out Dax, order some, it's amazing. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So to get started on our chicken, I have cut off all of the fat off of my thin breasts of chicken. I also have one egg that I've scrambled up, some flour, about a quarter of a cup that I mix a little bit of salt and pepper into, and lastly, I have a half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and some mustard powder, and I also have a tray for my chicken. So if you have the basket style, you will do this process and then put your chicken into the basket. So we are going to start with our first chicken breast here and we're going to dredge it into our egg mixture and you just need enough to coat the chicken breast. So go ahead and shake off any excess and then we're going to just put it into our flour. And again, we're gonna shake off any excess. We just want enough to just kind of get a nice flour crumb coating here on our chicken. So that's perfect. And then lastly, we're just gonna put it into our Parmesan and cheese mixture and we're gonna get it nice and coated. And we'll repeat that process with our other piece of chicken. So our chicken is done. It looks amazing and ready to go into the air fryer. Next, I'm going to take my zucchini and I'm going to just kind of dredge them just lightly in the flour 
and lightly in the Parmesan mixture. It is not going to stick very well because we didn't add that egg, but no problem. We're just going to sprinkle it on top. So go ahead and do just a little bit of flour. You don't even have to do the Parmesan because again, we are just going to sprinkle it on top. So go ahead and do all of your pieces of zucchini in the flour, and then we'll add our Parmesan and get them into the air fryer. But this is going to be really good. It is going to add that kind of floured fry texture to your zucchini. Once you've got your zucchini kind of covered in a little bit of flour, we are going to take some nonstick cooking spray. We're just going to spray our pieces of our zucchini for our zucchini fries. Kind of get them wet so that the rest of our ingredients will stick. So we're just going to take kind of our leftover Parmesan mixture and we're just going to sprinkle it over the top of our zucchini. Now it will stick with the nonstick cooking spray and the cheese will melt a little bit in the air fryer which will cause it to stick even more to the zucchini. And we don't have to count any extra points because we've already counted counted the points for the entire batch of flour and panko breadcrumbs and we're not using any more than the original recipe so that's definitely nice so go ahead and get those nice and coated with your leftover breadcrumbs oh, yum and then we're going to go ahead and add some of our dax green zest directly to the top and then we're going to give it another quick spray with our nonstick cooking spray just to again hear everything to our zucchini. And it's also going to add that nice brown crispy coating. So there are our zucchini fries. These look amazing. And now let's get our chicken ready to go into the air fryer. For our chicken, we again are going to take some nonstick spray and just kind of spray the top of our pieces of chicken. Again, that helps everything kind of stick to it, and it also will make it nice and brown and crispy. So let's get our dinner into the air fryer. So our dinner is in the air fryer. So if you are cooking a vegetable in a poultry or a meat, go ahead and put your vegetable on top so that your meat isn't dripping onto your vegetables throughout the cooking process. You can rotate the shelves as well um, as you start cooking. So we're ready to go. Let's get our air fryer on. We're gonna set this to 375 for 17 minutes. I have a light here on mine so I can kind of check on the cooking process of my chicken and zucchini, but it is started and I will be back when I pull it out of the air fryer. I just pulled everything out of the air fryer and this dinner looks so good. So here is our Parmesan chicken cutlets. You can see the breadcrumbs, the cheese, yum. And then over here, I have my zucchini fries. So I'm gonna get this all plated up and I'll be back to give you the smart points and show you my completed dinner. So here is tonight's dinner. I am incredibly excited for this. So I have one of my Parmesan cutlets with just about an eighth of a cup of the Crock-Pot marinara, just a sprinkle of Parmesan and some parsley. So the marinara, of course, is zero. And then I have my zucchini fries here. I have half of the batch. My dinner made two servings. So one serving, which is one breast of chicken and half of the zucchini fries is only six smart points. So this is a six smart point dinner. Yum. Thank you for joining me on another episode in my WW Air Fryer series. I hope you enjoyed these, seeing these two recipes. They were incredible. Like I said in the beginning, fantastic, delicious, point friendly dinners, absolutely delicious. If you are on the fence about getting an air fryer and this happens to push you off the ledge, there are a few air fryers linked in my Amazon store in the description box, including my air fryer, which is the power of an elite. I love it because it is an oven style. So it has the basket, but it also has the racks like you saw in the video, which makes you you able to cook a lot of food at once which is definitely a good thing if you have a family so check it out down in the description box if you're new to my channel hello and welcome make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video i'd love to have you part of my youtube friends and family please thumbs up this one and comment down below let me know which of these two recipes was your favorite and let me know too if you're going to give them a try and i'll see you guys all in my next video Bye, guys.